Whoop. Sorry, no problem. Do it. <laughs> nice fish. Dude, that thing was bent over. <laughs> Yeah! Everybody <laughs> No way. Nice fish. Nice fish. Not a bad fish. Today's episode of Pots Get Dirt comes to you from the great state of Colorado where ice fishing is a mainstay and, and basically a favorite activity for people that love fishing. Why? Because in this part of the country, you don't have many choices. When you head up in the winter months, you're going ice fishing. And what more beautiful place could you choose than Stagecoach Reservoir? Uh, we're out here today at Stagecoach State Park, a uh, beautiful reservoir. About 135 feet deep, got a, not, a lot of nice channels, a couple tributaries that come into it. Um, we're fishing out here every day, ice fishing, catching beautiful rainbows. Uh, we got the state record pike here. We're only 25 minutes away from Steamboat. You get off the slopes, come out here, spend a half day with us. Typically this ice is good, uh, starts getting really good around uh, the first week of Ju January. And then, um, you know, the species here, we're gonna find a lot more rainbows. Uh, we do have the occasional brown, Walleyes, you'll find state record pipe come by and eat your rainbows off. Um, I think we had that happen today. Um, but uh, as far as that goes, great place to come, enjoy. Beautiful sunsets, great fish, family time. Uh, doesn't get any better in the Rockies here. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> Here's stagecoach, catching bows. Good times. All right, let me cover with you what we were doing today on Stagecoach out here in Colorado ice fishing. So use two different methods today. Uh, fairly simple, fairly easy to use. First one was a little bullfly jig, little VMC tungsten jig. It's that one right there, similar to it in a pink color. And tipped it with a pink shrimp Potsky fireball. Tipped it on the hook right there, give it some scent, the shrimp scent. What we did on top of that also is use some Mike's Shrimp Linker Lotion. So we want to give it additional scent in that cold water, little dab on it, close it up right there, and that's what we'd actually drop into the water. All right, here's the second setup they used today. This is a Rat Finky Chartreuse 164 jig, and I'm tipping it with an actual Trigger X wax tail to give it a little motion in the water when it's dead sticking, and that's what we're doing a little bit of today. So you see that right there, it's tipped with a gold garlic Potsky Fireball. So garlic on this one. Next thing I used was Mike's Garlic Lunker Lotion. Same scenario as the other one. So tip it again, little scent on it. So we're matching garlic to garlic. And on a dead stick setup, this one worked excellent. And we we're fishing in about eight feet of water. It was incredible today. Here we go. Oh, garlic. Oh, garlic. See it? See it? Yep, I see him. It's not bad. It's not bad, bro. Hold up, hold up. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. That's way better than you said. Yeah? There way better than you said. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at this nice toad over here. A uh, red pinky chartreuse with a garlic, gold garlic fireball. Dude. Who got him? Look at that. Woo. That garlic sauce is working. Oh.
All right, so we get to go to some absolutely beautiful places in North America to film Potski Outdoors. This is one of our favorites so far. We got one? Man, these guys are getting, literally getting bit every two seconds. The sun has just gone down and we're here in the Rocky Mountains in beautiful Colorado where, oh, we got one? Fish on, fish on. Got it. Just like that. Not the biggest, but one of the prettiest you'll find. Again, we're at Stagecoach Reservoir here, only about 25 minutes from Steamboat Springs. The reason why we're up here, well, we booked a couple days fishing with Yampa Valley anglers and we wanted to go to Steamboat. We wanted to go to uh, some other lakes that were nearby, but they wanted to force us here. Why? Because they know how good the fishing is and it's their home water. They know right where the fish are gonna be. Now, we started today at the inlet. You'll see we jumped on some snowmobiles instead of having to walk all the way to the other side of the lake. We took about a 10 minute ride in a snowmobile and went to one of their favorite holes. Now, unfortunately, this hole wasn't fishing as well as we thought. Did we catch a dozen fish here? Yes. Did we catch the size of fish we wanted? Probably not. You know, this time of year, fish kind of move around a little bit. They haven't got into this favorite area yet. So what we did is we met up later in the day and we went back over to the other side of the lake nearest to the main highway. And all of a sudden the bite just picked up. Now we also learned that there was no reason to get here early. The morning bite was not incredible for us. So what did we do? We came back in the afternoon and sure enough, the last two hours of the day proved to be absolutely incredible. It was bite after bite after bite. We had a blast catching mostly rainbow trout. Now there are some browns in here, but for the most part, you're gonna be catching rainbows. And the good news is there's several different year classes in here. We caught some real small fish, nine, 10, 11, 12 inches, but we also caught them up to 20, 21, 22 inches as well, which shows you there's a beautiful population of rainbows in here. And Stagecoach Reservoir, it's an awesome place to go. The state park does a phenomenal job during the winter months, keeping the place plowed, keeping the place open. The facilities are open, the restrooms are open. It's an awesome place to bring the family. Now remember, Stagecoach is about 20 miles from Steamboat Springs. It's easy to access. It's also a pretty good sized lake. It's 780 acres. The state of Colorado does one heck of a job stocking an absolute ton of fish in here as well. And that has proved to make this one of the best places to ice fish in the state of Colorado during the winter months. Now you'll have a lot of guys come down from Wyoming, but most of the part is gonna be played by those from the Denver metropolitan area, the Fort Collins area, all coming up here because there's such a consistent fishery here for anglers fishing through the ice. Now, you heard Joe talk a lot about what he used today. Uh, Joe has certain things he loves to use. Now the guys from Yampa, they use a little bit different things. They're kind of new to our product, so they picked a few things that they really liked. And for the most part, that's something that they do every single day, which means they go to the local sporting goods store, they buy a, fe a fresh box of night crawlers almost every single day, and they take that pink shrimp Potsky Fireball and they put it on there. Why? During the winter months, scent plays a big part in ice fishing success. You know, the metabolism slows down a little bit. Trout may not be as active as they are. So you gotta do anything you can to get them to bite. Now that scent was pink shrimp Potsky Fireballs. They had a whole box of Fireballs we sent them ahead of time. That ended up being their favorite. They also are very big on Atlas Mike's Glow Garlic Scent. You know, we had an entire box of scents for them to try. They wouldn't even let us use that one. They loved it so much. It became a garlic game for them. And it probably will for you. Now, when you're up here, there's three scents that are real popular. You have anise, you have garlic, you have shrimp. Those three scents are huge through the ice, no matter where you fish in the Rockies. And whichever one you choose to use, just make sure to apply a lot of it because scent in the winter, we can't stress this enough, is a big deal. Now, speaking of big, Stagecoach has some big trout. You know, like I said, we did catch many different year classes of fish here. However, we also caught some big bruisers, just like you'll see from the boys at Yampa Valley Anglers almost every day during the beautiful ice fishing season with snow-capped peaks, thick ice, and beautiful rainbows to be caught here in the Rocky Mountains.
Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.